Hey, everybody. Hope y'all can hear me. Um, let's see here. How many people we got on this live today? All right, I'm going to wait till some get some people on here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and um, have a little discussion. <laughs> everybody. Um, hopefully, we get some people on here, and we get a little discussion going. I'm hoping you all can hear me. I got my headset on. I think I got a Bluetooth into my uh, my phone, so you all can hear me. But um, today's discussion, uh, this is for my people. Well, it actually, to be honest with you, it's for just about anybody. But it's primarily for my people who are um, in the uh, freight um, industry, freight brokering, dispatching, you know, whatever you're doing and stuff like that, but it's it's really for anybody. And people, I get calls all the time, primarily from my students, and sometimes from people who are not my students, and they ask me, well, Cal, I see you on YouTube, I see you working from your home, and, you, you know, I saw you did a video the other day where you did, where you're doing $3,000 a day, you know, sometimes booking freight from home. Uh, you know, I've been taking your course, and I've been watching your videos, and um, I, I I started my dispatch firm, but I can't seem to make the kind of money you make it. Well, <laughs> here's the answer to that. And this this applies to anything. You can't make the kind of money I make because you don't do what I do. It's just that simple. If you ask any entrepreneur, any successful entrepreneur, every successful entrepreneur would tell you the same thing on how to be successful. If you want to be successful, Watch what successful people do and do what they do. Now, I don't mean just become a dispatcher. You have to actually do what I do to gain that type of success. I tell my students in every class, in every course, or just by every video, in order to be successful as a dispatcher and to make $3,000 a week or $3,000 a day, First thing you have to do is you have to dedicate yourself to doing things repeatedly and consistently, which means here's what I do. I make 50 pitches per day to owner operators, not 50 calls. I may make 200 calls, but I pitch 50 owner operators every single day. Well, Monday through Friday, five days a week. That's a full pitch. Hey, Mr. Owner Operator, my name is Calvin Butler with RBBS Transport LLC, one of the top-rated dispatch firms in the country. Let me ask you a question. How much money do you need to move your truck? Oh, Mr. Butler, you calling me from a dispatch firm? Yes, sir, that's right, RBBS LLC. Okay, well, Mr. Butler, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, man. In order to move my truck, I need at least $4 per mile, nothing less than that. Great. Because as a dispatch firm, I only look for the freight that's going to places you want to go, paying the kind of money you want to get paid, pulling the kind of freight that you want to pull. What can I send my dispatch agreement to? Oh, Mr. Butler, I don't. I, <laughs> you know, I get these calls from dispatch all the time. I don't really need a dispatcher. You know, uh, I had a dispatcher one time. He never find me no good freight. He always find me stuff that was weighing too much, taking me up in the mountains and in in this cold and on that ice. I don't do that kind of stuff, man. I'm from Georgia. Sir, I understand, but let me ask you a question. If the dispatch you had back then would have kept you on the bottom half of the United States, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, places like that, and if they would have found you loads that was paying more than $4 per mile and kept you with lightweight loads that were less than 40,000 pounds, less than 30,000 pounds, you still have that dispatcher today, right? Well, uh, well, of course. Great, because as I said, I only look for freight that's paying the kind of money you want to get paid, going to the places you want to go, pulling the kind of freight you want to pull. What can I send my dispatch agreement to? <laughs> oh, you trying to be slick, Mr. Butler? No, I don't. No, look, 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 look. I don't need no dispatch. My wife dispatched for me, and I don't have to pay her a dime. Now what you got to say? Sure, again, I understand. But let me ask you a question. If your wife is looking for your freight one day, she's good at what she does. If she's looking for your freight one day, she's finding your load that's paying three ninety, four ten, four twenty per mile, and then you're looking for freight, and now you and you're really good at what you do. I mean, you I mean you've been doing this for a while, so you know what you're doing, and you're finding freight that's paying four fifty, four sixty, four eighty. And I call you up, and I got freight that's paying five ten, five ninety, and six dollars per mile. Whose load you gonna run that day? Well, obviously I'm gonna run the highest paying freight. Exactly. Look, 
I'm not trying to take the place of your wife. God knows she's probably a great woman and everything. I'm not trying to take the place of her. God bless her. I'm not even trying to take your place. All I'm trying to do is help you to make more money while I'm making money myself. Now, obviously, if I call you up and if I don't got freight that's paying the highest paying freight, you ain't going to take it, right? Right, right, right. But if I call you up and I got the best paying freight options for you, you're going to take it, right? Well, of course. All right, great. That's all I'm saying. As I said before, I only look for freight that's paying the kind of money you want to get paid, going to the places you want to go, pulling the kind of freight that you want to pull. Where can I send my dispatch agreement to? All right, Mr. Butler, you're sold. You see, now I do that. I make 50 of those pitches, 50 pitches every single day, Monday through Friday. Because if you make 50 pitches and you close one out of 50, now, I'm good at this, so I'm closing about seven out of eight out of fifty. You know, seven to eight out of fifty. You know, that's that's pretty good closing on marriage. So I'm so I'm signing up for about seven to eight carriers pretty much every day when I'm doing it on a consistent basis. But if you're pitch poor at this and you only signed up one carrier out of fifty, just one with that pitch, right? Which means you got to do what I do. You got to dedicate yourself to learning that pitch the way I just did it. You got to dedicate yourself to making. As many phone calls as you need to make Monday through Fridays every single day in order to get 50 pitches in. If you ain't doing that, you ain't going to make the kind of money I make because you ain't doing what I do. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because if you just make those pitches 50 times a day, 50 pitches a day, and you close one out of 50, that gives you five owner operators at the end of the week that you have. Five owner operators, you can dispatch them about three or four loads each per week. The average low fee you're gonna get if, if you get to pay ten percent. The average, you know, low fee is fifteen hundred dollars. You're gonna make somewhere between one hundred twenty and one hundred fifty dollars per load. That's gonna give you about three thousand dollars a week. You dispatch those same five dispatch those same five carriers for about two weeks. You're picking up about six thousand dollars, right, in those two weeks of dispatching them because you're making about three thousand dollars a week on those five I'm on operators. At the end of that two weeks, you go out and hire yourself another hire yourself a dispatch agent. You give that dispatch agent those five on operators that you've been dispatching for two weeks, and you're paying that dispatch agent 6% of the low fee, and you're keeping 4%. Or you're paying them 7%, and you keep 3%. I pay my dispatchers 7%, and I keep 3%. That brings me about $900 per five carriers per week. So I've got two sets of five carriers. Why? Because I was... I, I call it every week. I've got 10 carriers. I've got two sets of dispatch that I've hired. I'm making $1,800 every two weeks. I'm, 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 I'm creating a $1,800 per week every month, basically. Because I'm repeating the same thing over and over and over again. You have to be consistent. You have to be committed to this. If you do that consistently, by the end of the year, you got yourself enough carriers and enough dispatchers and enough money that you are averaging somewhere close. It's not, now you see how I average sometimes two, three thousand dollars a day, sometimes higher than that, because I was consistent in scaling my firm. Now, if you're one of my dispatch students or you're taking out a training course or whatever the case may be, and you're not doing what I tell you to do, you're not doing what I do, then you can't. Expect to make the kind of money that I make. So when I hear people say, well, Kevin, how come I can't make the kind of money you make? Because you ain't doing what I do. It's just that simple. If you do what I do, you'll make what I make. But if you're only going to call oh, seven or eight owner operators a week, maybe make 10 phone calls and get discouraged and then don't call no more for, for another week or two. Or you call every other day, you might call one or two and you hear no, oh, he told me no, I, my, my feelings crushed. Then you ain't, no, you ain't gonna make the kind of money I make. If you're only doing about, if you're only doing about 4% of what I do, guess what? You're only gonna make about 4% of what I make. If you're doing 40% of what I do, you're gonna make about 40% of what I make. If you do 100% of what I do, then you'll be on the same level as me and making the kind of money that I make. Now, this is true with anything you want to do, not just this, this industry. If you are following somebody who is trying to mentor you through a business and, you, and that person is making great, great money, take, for instance, um, I was doing something called MWR Financial with Mr. Brian Bean. Brian M. Bean is making beaucoup money. I think he's making like almost, oh, I think he's doing about three 
15 grand a day, something like that, at least that, through MWR Financial. But Brian N. Bean is constantly, constantly, constantly promoting. He's constantly recruiting. He's constantly doing videos after videos after videos after videos after videos. He's constantly working his business. Everything he does is surrounded by what he does with MWR Financial. He does trade shows. He does events in Atlanta. He does events in Florida. He does events in New York. He does events in in California. Now, if you ain't doing that, you can't expect to make the kind of money Mr. Brian N. Bean is making because you ain't doing what he do. People, it's not. This is not rocket science. Being successful is not rocket science. I tell people this all the time. Making money is easy when you know how to do it. But just knowing how to do it is not going to make you money. You got to actually get off your butt and do it. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. It ain't going to just magically just jump in your pockets because you're in the industry. I don't care what industry you're in. Whatever the industry you're in, if you're trying to, to match someone else's success, watch what they do and do exactly what they do. Don't do some of what they do. Don't do a part of what they do. Don't do a fraction of what they do. Don't do it on the days you feel good because what they do, they do it when they feel good, when they sick, when they down, when they're depressed, when they're happy. They do it because it's who they are. It's not what they do. Make what you do a part of who you are and you won't have a problem of doing it the way you're supposed to be doing it to make the kind of money you want to make. Hope y'all get something out of this today. I really do. Because <laughs> I get calls all the time from students. I got some students who are doing, you know, three grand a week, ten grand a week. I got some, some, some students who ain't doing squat. But the ones that are making that kind of money, they're doing a certain level of what I do. Okay? I got a student who's making ten grand a week. He does about 60% of what I do. He's making ten grand a week. You see how that works? You see how that works? You can't, you can't make the money that I make if you don't do what I do. Plain and simple. Y'all see me on here all the time doing videos, doing this, and I live this industry. I live, bleed, sweat, eat this industry. That's why I make the kind of money I make. But I'm going to say it to you again. You can't hope to make the kind of money that I make or anybody else who's successful makes if you're not doing what they do. It ain't hard. It's not hard. Just monkey see, monkey do. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Seriously, I hate to put it that way, but that's all it is. Monkey see, monkey do. If monkey see you peeling a, a banana, he peels a banana. You eat a banana, monkey gonna eat a banana. Monkey gets food just like you got food. Why? Because the monkey saw what you did, he did what you did. So monkey see, monkey do. If you want to make great money, if you want to be successful in any industry, Watch someone who's successful in that industry and do what they do. It's that simple. Look, I'm going to cut this one short because this is just a short little how to be successful tip. So but anyway, that's my how to be, be successful tip for the day. This is Calvin Butler with the RBBS Logistics and Learning Centers. Remember, we have our registration for our, our uh, freight broker um, training course that's coming up. And the course starts... February the 6th, okay, February the 6th, deadline to have your registration fees in is January the 31st. It's a two-week in-depth training course from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We take a break at 12, come back at 1, finish up until 3 p.m. At the end of each day, you're going to have a um, a quiz that you got to take sometime that night. You can go online and take that quiz. You can take the quiz as many times you want to to pass the quiz at a grade of 70 or better. Then the next day we do it all over. You know, we have a, our next day of training. And it's all via Zoom through a live secure link via Zoom. Okay? Uh, we moved it from the location that we have here in Tallahassee because of whew, COVID, RSV, flu, liability um, issues. Did y'all know there was such thing not called COVID insurance? I didn't know until the management firm called me and told me, hey, Mr. Butler, you know, your yearly um, leases um, – is becoming due because we paid our lease by the year. It was like $34,000 a year, but they wanted to bump it up to $43,000 a year. Plus, we had to have added COVID insurance. Plus, we had to have an attorney on retainer to advise us in case someone got sick or died from getting the COVID flu or RSV. Oh, my God. This world is changing. But 
what we did was that I saw there was a lemon. So what did I do? I took a lemon and made lemonade. Yeah, I got a lemon tree here in my backyard. I just discovered it. So I took a lemon and made lemonade. So I took our same program that we have, instead of having people to fly here, which we had to add that into the cost, instead of having people to be in hotel rooms for the whole two weeks, that was added into the cost, instead of giving people, you know, feeding people three meals a day for two weeks, that was in the cost, instead of providing four Uber Lyft rides every day while they were here, <laughs> that was in the cost. <laughs> and that's what 45 students, and instead of our paying that lease on that, on that uh, property that was used for a campus, you know, thirty-four thousand dollars a year. Now that we don't have to do that, that cuts the cost. So our tuition has dropped from seventy-five hundred all the way down to eighteen hundred and fifty bucks. So now it's become a lot more affordable, and we have also partnered with a firm that allows you to pay that tuition in monthly payments, one hundred and sixteen dollars per month. And of course, when you complete our freight broker training course, we have guaranteed. Let me repeat that guaranteed career placement, which means we're going to place you with a brokerage firm, a bonded, insured, properly licensed, and um, authoritized brokerage firm that you're going to be working for, and you can work remotely. And with these brokerage firms, we, our corporate consulting firm is managing these brokerage firms. That's how we can guarantee you career, guarantee career placement, guarantee you a job with the brokerage firm. And the way that we have these brokerage firms set up, you are not going to be responsible for doing all the work that regular freight broker agents do. You're only going to do one part of the work, but you're going to be averaging somewhere in the neighborhood of one hundred and eighty to $280,000 a year your first year. Okay? So if you have questions about our freight broker training course that we have, give me a call, 866-973-6445, or just... Take a look at my Facebook page. There's stuff all over that bad boy about, you know, what we're doing as far as with the freight brokers, you know, registration stuff. Get registered. Get registered. Get registered and change your financial future for 2023. Look, 2022 was not a good year for a lot of people. I did okay, but a lot of people did, didn't do so okay, right? And the only way for you to change what's going on in your life you got to change what's going on in your life. <laughs> I mean, it's not here. Come on. That's not hard. You, I mean, nothing's going to change if you're doing the same thing. Mm. Nothing's going to change if you're doing the same thing. Right? If you're doing good, right, you want to keep doing good, keep doing what you're doing. If you're doing bad, and if you want to do good, you got to change what you're doing. Because if you keep doing what you're doing, you're still going to do bad. It's just that simple, man. So for those of you who are looking for an industry to make money, because this industry is it. Freight brokers firm, successful freight brokers firm, you know that TQL, their revenue last year was $9 billion. C.H. Robinson, their revenue was almost $33 billion. <laughs> but that's not unheard of when it comes to brokers firms. An average broker firm is, is is doing a half a billion to a billion to two or three billion dollars a year. Even bad brokers firms are doing 40, 50, 60, 80 million, 100 million dollars a year because that's the norm for brokers firm. This is the top revenue producing and it's one of the top revenue producing industries on the planet. And we're not we're not just going to train you how to do this stuff and do it remotely from your home, but we're also going to guarantee you career place. We're going to place you with a brokerage firm that you can go work for to make this kind of money. All right, everybody, that's it. I'll see y'all when I see you. I'm about to go make me some lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a good one.